Hello guys and welcome to a short tutorial with me, Kori Shiva. Or you can just call me Kori, whatever. Well, I am going to make a short video on how you actually uh, download and configure a PS2 emulator because someone wanted me to make this. <laughs> and it could be useful for you. So, um, I have two versions of the PS2 emulator. P PCSX2 as it's uh, known as. So this is the main page for them to download the uh, latest version they have published. So you go to pcsx2.net and uh, you go to download. So if you have Windows, Linux or Mac or yeah, I have Windows so I go to Windows. So you can just download these this one I guess. I'm not sure how you download from this page actually. <laughs> so um so I guess you just go to what? I'm not sure. Okay, so you just push this button I guess. And you can put it where whatever you want it. So uh and I have the torrented version and by the way the uh links to these pages will be put in the description. Which is kind of natural. So I have pre-downloaded the other version, which I am using myself. It's a torrented version. So I would not show you the torrent page or something like that, because that's illegal and stuff like that. So I'll just show you how to extract and uh, fix this emulator. So I just double click on this and you can set where you want your uh, emulator so I just put it on my desktop because I already have this installed already so this window will show up and by the way if you don't have a decent computer this emulator will run really slow or laggy or whatever I would not suggest to put this on a laptop that can't even run Minecraft. <laughs> that, that would be horrible. Then it will be like one frame per second or something like that. So yeah. And you also need to download this BIOS. I am not sure if that's correct pronounced, but yeah. So I will give you a download link to that one too. And yeah. So let's start this. Uh, you open this up. You will see, if you got this version as I have, there is no BIOS. So that's why I am going to do it like this. Extract to... Ah, I know. <sighs> yes, I am now using the free trial. Uh, and we put it in here. Okay. There we go. Then we have it. So, some of you guys get this message when you try to run the uh, PS, uh, PCSX2. So what you do then is you go to... wait a second, I have to find the page. You go to one of these links I have here. I will give you a link to uh, one of these. Depends on if you are using the 64-bit or the 32-bit version of Windows. So yeah. And then you just run the installer and everything should be fine. You might have to restart your computer before you can play. Then you just have to start this. So language selection. You can take Chinese or English or German. And that's Swedish, Spanish, Russian, <laughs> even Japanese. So I just take system default. And then we have these. This might look really, really complicated, but we just leave it, leave it alone until uh, later. And here we go, no BIOS. Because I just extracted the BIOS folder into the BIOS folder, so I just have to do like this. Oh, this looks horrible, right? It's not that bad. You just ch select one of these. I just select the latest version of Europe. I don't care which one. You don't have to have the uh, USA or Japan or Europe version. It's, it doesn't depend on uh, that. Okay, so let's see. Um, 
And then we have to configure the video settings, plugin settings. So here you see DirectX 9. I would not recommend to use that one. So we go on the DirectX 11 and the hardware. Because if you go to software, it would be a little bit laggy and stuff like that. And I just keep that one on none. And this looks great. And then we click OK. And if you want to have it widescreen instead of the regular screen, let's see. Um, then you go to window settings and you pick this on widescreen. Then it's OK. And if you want, you can make the custom window size. That doesn't really do anything if you are going to run it in full window mode. And then we have to apply, of course, and we need to make some game fixes. Because some games really are a little bit of a pain in the ass. So, simulate BIF1 FIFO read ahead. That would, I think that helps when the games are loading really, really slow. I always have the ignore blah 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 writes when it's busy. And FFX video fix. That is what I use when I play on my games. You might have to change some of these game fixes whenever you have to play another game. And not all games are working on this emulator. Um, I just have to say that. Okay, so then I have applied and uh, okay. Uh, you also have this speed hack option. And uh, let's see, um, here we go. And turbo. So you can skip when turbo is on, ta a tab to enable. So if you take this on, you can take and adjust the turbo here so you can have 200% the speed or more if you want to. And that's pretty fun because then you can just skip through uh, grinding and stuff like that really easy. So okay, uh, is, uh, let's see and then you have to uh, configure your controller so that's really easy. You just go to plugin settings and then to pad 1. Then you can configure your controller or the buttons on your keyboard as you like. Because that's not configured from before. So you have to do this before you go and test your gamepad. So I'll just configure it really quick and test this emulator and see if it works like it should. So here and there and there. And there we go. So I am using my Logitech Rumble Pad 2 controller to play this game. I really like it. Hello. There we go. Okay. We really need to configure every single button. Okay, let's see. And select is there and start is here. Analog and mouse, it doesn't, doesn't care. Okay, so... And I just click on Brook, is it like on Norwegian? It's user. And then we go to DVD selection, ISO selection. So you see, there is no ISO files here, so you need to get your own games. You can rip them or you can whatever. Just do as you like, you can download them if you want to. So and I'll just play, uh, let's say, Kingdom Hearts, because I already played that. So. Then we just, you could choose if you want to take the full boot so you see the uh, PlayStation 2 icon in the beginning, like this. There we go. So this emulator works Ooh. and I think I should turn down the volume a little bit. <laughs> it's really high. Okay, let's see. Uh, there we go. Take that on down to 20. So you see, the emulator is working and now I can try to Touch, touch the turbo button. So now it's activated. <laughs> so it's going really fast. So I could just push new game if I want to, normal expert, whatever. It's working perfectly. And if you have problems with cutscenes, there is a solution for that. Okay, I should actually try to show you guys. Do it on Silent Hill 2 because that's a that's 
typical problem. Reset. Because we always have a problem with the cutscenes on Silent Hill 2. And sometimes it doesn't really help to do what I am going to do now. <laughs> a little bit bugs. Okay, so let's see. Whatever. I'm just starting a new game. Be in the beginning you have these cutscenes. Which is uh, video files. And you see this happening. Well, it's pretty easy. Push no F9. And it's going to be like this instead. It isn't perfect, but it, it's working. So, yeah. And if you push F5, you can go from these different modes on the screen. And now I have to push F9 again if you want a good quality on the game. So! I hope you liked this tutorial, and I hope it works for you too. Well, but like I said, you need a decent computer to actually run this emulator. Because, yeah, it takes a lot. My game, my computer is making... It's, I, I can play Battlefield 3 on it on ultra graphics, but then it's a little bit laggy. And the emulator is still a little bit laggy. So, yeah. But if you have a computer that runs uh, Battlefield 3 on perfectly uh, on ultra graphics, uh, that's no problem, I guess. So yeah, hope this was helpful and uh, yeah, good luck. See you guys.